spinal muscular atrophy a word of caution i am not a doctor seek your doctor for correct course of action in this short video i'll try to show what is autosomal recessive gene is and how smn1 gene which is responsible for sma gets into a newborn the human body as you know is made up of countless number of cells i have taken one such cell and expanded it out here here you can see ribosomes cytoplasm mitochondria the nucleus okay which is there in each and every cell the nucleus has lots of chromosomes 23 to be exact in a human body in a human cell so here i have taken out all those 23 pairs of chromosomes and shown here each pair consists of a chromosome which came from a dad and a mom and the 23rd pair is what determines the sex of a baby if both the 23rd pair look alike that is x and x it's a girl and if it looks uh, not alike that is we call it as x and y then it's a boy and the sm n1 gene resides there on the fifth chromosome pair okay let's refocus on sma on an unaffected individual the smn1 gene is present on both the fifth chromosome on a sma patient smn1 gene does not function properly like you can see both have a mutation so it's a non functional smn for sma to exhibit both the fifth chromosome should be affected uh, that is autosomal recessive if one gene is okay and the other one is mutated still the patient will not exhibit the symptoms of sma rather he would just be a carrier so here i show you how it gets handed over to the child from a parent in case one let us see if both the parents are a carrier so you can see the fifth chromosome being represented here the light blue over here represents an affected chromosome and the dark blue shows the unaffected chromosome so the same goes for the mother as well so when they have one affected and one aff one unaffected the father and mother will never show the symptoms of sma all right when they join to produce offsprings the good gene of the father unaffected gene of the father may combine with the unaffected gene of the mother to produce an unaffected son or an unaffected daughter all right if the aff unaffected gene of the father combines with the affected gene of the mother they can produce a carrier daughter same goes for the son as well if the affected gene of the father gets combined with the affected gene of the mother then they can produce an affected offspring okay in case 2 uh, this is just an extension say if one person is completely affected with sma and if the mother is going to be a carrier then the chances are 50% of the Uh, offspring is going to be affected and 50% is going to be a carrier okay thank you for watching this video the references for these are taken from wikipedia and google as i have already mentioned a word of caution i am not a doctor kindly take your doctor's advice for correct course of action bye bye